brain cortex and cortex. The brain has two hemispheres, uh, the right and the left one. And the two halves are connected by the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is in the middle of both hemispheres and it exchanges information between them. After the corpus callosum, we have the thalamus, which is involved in sensory and motor signal relay and the regulation of consciousness and sleep. It's for perceiving things like senses, taste, touching, except for the smell. After the thalamus, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum receives information from the sensory systems and it coordinates movement and it gives equilibrium to the body. After the cerebellum, we have the brainstem. The brainstem or the life organ has basic functions like regulation of heart rate, breathing, sleeping, and eating, all the unconscious functions of the body. After that, we have the hippocampus, which is part of the limbic system, and it regulates emotions, plus it's associated with memory, in particular, long-term memory. After the hippocampus, we have the pituitary gland, which is a pea-sized organ below the hypothalamus. It's part of the endocrine system and it produces critical hormones. The hypothalamus is responsible for essential hormones or body reaction. For example, the temperature regulation. And then we have the cortex of the brain. The cortex of the brain has four lobes. The frontal lobe gives the ability to move parts of the body at will and it allows us to focus, pay attention, reflect, make decisions, and solve problems. And after that, we have the motor cortex and the somatosensory cortex. The motor, cor uh, motor cortex is also part of the cerebral cortex, and it helps us with the muscular movement from toes to lips. The somatosensory cortex receives information through touch and temperature from our environment, and it's part of the parietal lobe, which uh, special function is to move this uh, on spatial awareness and orientation. After the parietal lobe, we have the occipital lobe, which helps us in the visual stimuli. It processes and compares visual data coming from the outside world. After the occipital lobe, we have the temporal lobes that help us with the auditory stimuli. The sensation of sound are produced and we can register sounds, loudness, pitch, or timbre. We have the cerebellum and the spinal cord.